Greetings, guys. This is the show. Welcome to the show. The show, the show, the show. The show, the show. The asshole, the asshole cooking show. The show where you uh, just uh, feel like cooking. You just do whatever the hell you feel like at the time and hope it works out. And if it don't, you eat it anyway. And be happy about it. But anyway, okay. We're going to get started with this. Um, this is going to be something um, that I always wanted to try. This is going to be... I have to hurry up and uh, look it up on YouTube uh, to tell you exactly what it's called. But I did see this on uh, one of my all-time favorite YouTube channels, Barbecue Pit Boys. Which is actually one of the channels that inspire me to actually think about cooking stuff the right way but they do some pretty crazy stuff too uh, but anyway i got this off of their channel i gotta stop this camera and look at the proper name for it in a minute too but they do it with beer cans we're gonna mold this meat and, and all that but i'm gonna pause this camera and go look up uh the thing and what it's actually called and get back to you but instead of a beer can or a pop can i got the idea i don't i got pop that's in plastic bottles here and then i got things of milk and so i don't have beer cans or pop cans right now so i just had this idea i'm going to use this and i'm going to be creative here and um well why the hell not so um this is going to be really cool so I'm just going to wing it. Okay, I'm back. I paused the camera. If you want to look this up, uh, I love this channel and it kind of inspires me to want to cook things the right way. But they do some pretty crazy stuff. And some stuff is like really awesome. But anyway, it's called Beer Can Burgers. They have variations of this. There's Beer Can Breakfast Burgers. You can do like a breakfast thing. And I got this idea. Say if you don't have a beer or a pop can handy, I imagine you can probably use a a glass, a drinking glass that's a particular shape. But say if you want to use this, things like this, canned beefaroni, or I'm going to cut some bell pepper, like they cut bell peppers up in uh, their show. But um, say if you're going to put veggies in something anyway, say you want to have cans of whatever canned vegetables or something, you want to chop up your own vegetables, but if you're doing canned veggies, Hey, you got the can, and you can put the contents of the can. Well, I'm going to show you in about a minute here. So, um, Oh, and one more possibility for this, which for future videos I'm thinking about it. I got my uh, wheels turning uh, here. Uh, say you do this with meat. Say you want to get canned chili or make chili. Maybe fill this with chili. Well, um, to get on with what I'm talking about here... Uh, you're probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about here and uh, get to the point. What we're going to do is, well, they, like I said, they use beer or pop cans. We're going to use, I'm going to use the contents of it too, but we're going to use this can, okay, to make this burger and mold it into a container, if you will, and full, fill this like a meatloaf container with goodies. And then yeah, you got some. I got some cheese in the fridge. I'm probably gonna add cheese. I got onions here. I'm using ground sausage. See, they got their thing where they got barbecue breakfast burger, barbecue this and that burger. But when I saw this, it got my wheels turning. You can do, jeez, oh, damn near anything you want. And what is? I'm pretty excited about this. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just gonna try see how this works out. But I got a little crazy here, and I bought... I'm not going to use all of this right now, but I'm telling you what. I got really into this sausage, and I just bought like a shitload of it. But I'm not going to use all of this, but damn, a lot. There's like four or five more in there here this bag. I think I bought like something like a dozen of these. But we're going to open up about two of them right now. And I'm going to show you this when I put the camera down. But, um. All right, you guys. Since I was yammering on and on and on and jibber jabbering on and on about my intentions here with this uh, meat. Instead of cutting up the veggies and the onions, which is, I'm going to get to this later on a cutting board. 
I'm going to move this shit over and I'm going to get right to the point and show you what I'm doing. Because uh, since I was doing all that jibber jabbering and uh, get right to the point here. I'm just going to open both of these up now. I have some idea what um, the hell I'm doing. Don't know how much of these going to do. So I'm going to do hit and miss with this, you know, um, see if I need just one of these really, really to uh, create this or I'm going to see if one of them isn't enough. This is going to be my first molding of this uh, thing here. Um, but, all right. I don't know if I should peel the label off this can before I do this or not, but this is going to be a trick we're going to do here. I'm going to... Get creative with this here and just know what size I want this to be. I'm going to press this in here. And I'm going to... Oh yeah, one of them is going to... I want to start out with two of them anyway. And I got a pan that I'm going to do this with. Alright. kind of roll it around here see how this works Let's see if I can get it out of there I thought the meat would be greasy enough to actually poof, twist it out of there hold on I think I got it all right kind of got it to come apart it kind of come apart but I I'm gonna too well, I don't exactly got a potter's wheel here, and but what we're ba what we are basically doing, what I'm calling this, I saw this on the channel. I love the, their channel. You're basically making clay pottery out of your ground meat, right? And this is going to be a container, if you will, to put your goodies in it. And then the sh I'm going to flip the. I got this in selfie mode. I'm going to flip this camera over and show you what I just did here. My hands are greasy, so I'm going to flip this out of selfie mode. And just one second. Yeah, I did wash my hands before uh, doing this, too. So, All right. All right. All right, we're out of selfie mode here. I'm going to find where the hell is my damn uh, pan here. I'm going to take this, get this out the way. I'm going to put this in here for a second. I got shit in the way here. I'm going to take this, pick this up real carefully. Let's set it in this pan right now. My handle on my cutting board is kind of in the way here. Trying to move that pan. It's good enough for now. Now I'm going to try something here. Since that didn't come out as easy, I'm going to go and use a little bit of this olive oil here. So now I'm going to get this can real greasy, because I'm going to throw the can in the trash anyway. There, I'm going to gre grease that up. It's got a little bit of oil, but I don't got butter right now. I don't feel like going in the fridge and getting it right now. So. All right, so I'm going to... So now this can is good and greasy. We're going to see see what happens now when we put our can in there. And I'm going to... Yeah, I could have took the label off too, but the thing about it is these cans are kind of have a little tiny rib in there. And I'm afraid it will cling to it and just do the opposite of my intent. You know what I mean? We don't want that. So I'm going to... Yeah. Bank it a little bit, roll it around, kind of. All right, press that a little bit more. And now, let's see if I can get that out of there. All right, it come up better, better. That's better. It's a little easier. So there we go. We got another. Ah, damn. ground meat pot there, if you will. Uh, that one is kind of 
This one's kind of looking kind of funky here. I have to fix it up a bit. Damn it. Yeah, you might have to do a little forming of that. Um, it works. I don't know. I'm thinking this, uh, some of these uh, packs of this sausage, when you get them in a pack like this, maybe they're not exactly the perfect amount. So this one might have been an eensy teensy but smaller than this one, a little bit less meat in there, so the walls of it are a little bit thinner. But Alright, so I did it. So far so good. Wipe my damn hands off and I'll just gonna give you another camera view of this before I start um, with what I'm doing here. Um, All right, here we go. We got two pots here made out of meat. Look at that. Ain't that cool? Okay, I'll get to the cutting of the veggies and the onions right now. But the method of my madness here, you know, the barbecue pit boys did the beer can. Keep in mind, this can be a veggie can too. And what got my uh, wheels turning was, well... Oh, there's also, uh, to not jump subjects, I have seen some things on YouTube channels where people are cooking with beer, and that's a whole different subject. But this uh, method of my madness, if you want to use this or veggies, why I got the idea here is because, well, you use, unlike a beer can, if you want to use the, you can use the contents, you can use this as your, like my, what I did to mold this, right? Well, use the contents. Put it right in there. Yes, sirree. Look at that. So I'm using the contents too. You know, if you want to use cans of beans, I need like say your veggies there. I'm just going to use like one can now, and I'm going to take some of this out of here and put it in here and even it up. And uh, I think I'm going to get me out some cheese. And I was going to thinking about chopping up some onions and bell peppers to make make this. So what I'm going to have I'm going to do here is I'm going to move these over and I'm going to make two more. So uh, I'm not going to have room for everything and I'm going to put some cheese in here and make these two. I'm going to put some of this into here and make some cheese. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make two more of these and chop up some onions and peppers because with this video, I want to show you a couple possible options, so. All right, so I got some cheese. And I got my garlic powder and then my minced onion, and I got some pip 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 pepper. And I'll, what I'm going to do with these bell peppers and the onions, I'm going to get to it shortly, but I'm going to just, a few shakes. Not too much, um, but. And uh, I'm going to take a, a few shakes of this. This is going to be put some of this in here. All right. And now garlic powder. And the reason, you know, a lot garlic powder, um, this is going to make some grease in the pan, but this will maybe absorb you know not make too much grease on the internals of this so my excuse to dump garlic in there good for your breath and not only with garlic i don't know about you guys but a certain amount of garlic what it does for me makes me uh makes me fart like a damn chainsaw that's what's the cool thing about garlic a lot of garlic but anyway all right so throw this in here all right so I got these on the far end because I'm going to go ahead and make me a couple more. And we're going to go ahead with this other plan here for these. Um, so my brain is going a couple different directions here. And I could make up my mind which I wanted to do. I wanted to do both. But we're, I figure we'll show you at least two options today. But like I said, if you have meat with your chili and like cheese with chili, you can maybe put chili in here. But like make some chili that's thick or buy canned chili and make it thick but all right I got my cheese I'm gonna take me 
a big ass handful of this chia be generous with it and try not to make a damn mess. And I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to just throw it in here like that. Look at that. So, the only thing, see, we're not doing this on an outdoor grill, so the grease is going to kind of, you know, uh, sausage does make a little bit of grease, but that's okay because we'll just lift this up out of here and put it in another pan and get it out of the grease, you know what I mean? And I have a meatloaf rack that, you know, one of them little meatloaf racks you put in a pan and put shit on, put the shit on there. I don't know what the hell I did with it. It's somewhere, but, uh, but I don't even have one anyway to put some of these on, so. All right, so there we go. I got that. Be pretty generous with this cheese. Because some of this cheese is going to sink down in here. You know what I mean? Uh, all right. So we're going to go and make ourselves two more of these. And But first, I'm going to go ahead and just, we're going to cut this stuff up. All right. We are going to murder some uh, green peppers here. And we're also going to murder an onion. Just... Uh, I didn't really uh, make up my mind which blade I wanted to use here. We got this and then this. I've used this before. So I'm just going to put this aside right now. Oh, I'm also going to murder a red bell pepper too. Just so you know. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just... Oh, by the way, this here... Um, I've used Vidalia onions, regular onions, red onions before. Mayan onions, sweet Mayan onions and Vidalia onions. This time I'm using Spanish onions. So, um, this is a Spanish onion. Let's see what it tastes like. Then. So, if you're going to cry and tear up when you're cutting an onion, I should be, uh, saying something in Spanish while I'm crying, <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'll spare you that. My Spanish isn't like really uh, good that way, so I'll uh, just spare you that. Uh, all right. Always clean up after yourself. But, well, I can use this little thing. I'll go ahead and do this and Get this Conan sword here and da 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 back here, drop my damn onion. Drop that on wash that off real quick. Alright, so I'll do that Conan the Destroyer theme song here. Da 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 there's some uh, butchery here. Chop, 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 chop. Chop it on up. Then I'm gonna have to put this in. Oh, there was some of the peel on this. God damn it! Yeah, let me get that out of there. There's one of the. This is like the peels were kind of. Know how that happened? There was a skin that I missed. There we go. Get that out of there. So just so they're not not burning my eyes too much so far. These Spanish onions don't have uh, all that much potency that way. I'm gonna try to mince these up as quickly as I could. Oh, uh oh, yeah, it's starting to burn the eyes a little bit, man. Yeah. Little, just a little bit, not that much. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting this. Holy shit. That's burning the eyes. But it's alright. I can take it.
chopped it up, just chopped the shit up. Try to make them kind of small. This onion is a pretty big onion, so it ought to be just enough to go into two more meat pots there. But, god damn it. Ooh, ooh, I'm burning. That's all right, though. You're not going to kill me. Chop it, chop it, chop it up. Chop it on up. Mm, holy shit. Way over here, in the sink in front of me, huh? I'll throw that in the trash can later. Ooh. Almost got it. I'm just gonna. <sighs> we may not use all of this onion. It's a pretty big one, but we're gonna give it a hell of a try. But I'm gonna have a put a pretty good balance of uh, that and pepper in here or you know what I might even just uh, say I might even just say the hell with it and just uh, make uh, a stuffed pepper stuffed entirely with onions that's what I'm thinking about doing right now but um because I got a lot from the meat group here already and then yeah, what do you guys think? Oh, this is a lot of damn onion. I got these two or bigger bell peppers here. We can do a little bit of everything. I'll these biggest ones. I got two big ones or some little ones. I'll take these little ones and cut them completely up. You know what? Oh, the hell with it. I'm, I want to see what the hell this turns out, out into. Because I made stuffed peppers in an episode before and stuffed with meat. I stuffed. We're gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna decor this. Suspense is killing me. I just got to say, you know what? <sighs> Let me get this core out of here. <sighs> Decore this damn thing. <sighs> all my seeds here kind of got a... Uh, Trying not to bust the pepper up. Usually the whole core pops right up with the seeds. I fucked up this time. But that's all right. I'll get the seeds out of here. That's the first time I did that in a long time. But yeah, we'll get it out of there. Shake that into the sink here. Seeds. Right on the paper towel I used to wipe my eyes or whatever. But yeah. Yeah, they come out. I got them out. For the most part. Me up. Decided this uh, spur of the moment here. I shake the damn. There's still more in there. Damn it! See, this is what happens when I kind of screwed up and didn't cut this perfect. And I had a usually the whole damn. If you do it just right, the whole damn thing comes out, seeds and all. And, but there we go. I got it. See that? So I'm gonna chop these up a tiny bit smaller here, real quick. At least some on this end that are a little smaller, not too many big chunks. If there's big chunks, it'll be okay. And I can do this. You know why? Because I already wrapped whole onions mixed with potatoes with bacon. Say if you've got some buddy that's a uh, dinner guest that maybe don't want to eat meat, maybe I'll give them this and maybe I, if they're an onion person. But I don't know, it just gives me an excuse. 
But okay, and so we're gonna do, we're gonna take, I wanna do something different. I did stuffed peppers with meat. I wanna do something different. Why the hell not? You know what, let's just stuff this damn thing with a, I'm gonna do one green and one red. Cause I'll eat entire onion anyway, like that. I wrap with bacon, whether it's sweet or regular onion, as long as it's cooked. So we're gonna just cram. Hey, you know what? This, this is gonna be pretty cool. This is gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna just jam these in here. Oh, I forgot. I gotta preheat this oven to about. 400 degrees, go ahead and preheat it. See how many like we're stuffing in here. And this can be like a non-meat option, you know, for somebody, you know. And it's got some weight to it too. But, see if I can get a little more in here without busting up my damn pepper. All right. Squish it on in there. Ah, look at that. That's a... Mush it and smush it in there. Look at that. That's completely full. So we're going to put this about here. And then we're going to take... So I'm not going to murder, quite murder this pepper. I'm just going to kind of decor it. But then my other... Uh, I have another bell pepper and another damn... Uh, A red one and a green one. I'm gonna cut up and we're gonna to try to make ourselves one more. But get this to help. All right. So this is closer to the way uh, it should be out of there. A little bit better. This I almost broke the top of the pepper, but we can live with that. Try to get this rest of the shit out of here. All right. So all right. That's a little busted on the top, but all right. So. We're going to go and fill this uh, bad boy up. Because, I, you know what, this is a big-ass onion I cut up. I got more onion than I planned, so I got to do some damn thing. You know what I mean? So, we're going to just jam this, uh, force the damn uh, shit in here, you know what I mean? Oh, and you know what, this damn, my eyes ain't burning no more, I just realized. But, um, all right, so just a little more. I'll fit a little more. And I'll have some of these onions for what I was originally planning. All right. A few more in here. When this cooks up, it's probably going to settle and everything. You know what I mean? In here. So I don't know what this is going to look like. But once it's cooked. But look at that. We got this in here, and we're going to put this in here. All right, I'm going to get the, these onions out the way real quick, and I need a small uh, bowl just for now. the size of but I need just to get these the hell out the way for now because I'm gonna cut up some bell peppers so I'm gonna take this but I didn't get no I'm not on the floor thank God so I'm gonna take this get this shit out the way where the hell am I gonna put this god damn it put it here for now we'll be all right make sure there ain't nothing there this with this over here so okay now these I'm gonna go ahead and chop them up and prepare for, oh and since I'm not making stuffed peppers here here's how we'll decor this since you're not making stuffed peppers this time I'm gonna slice it like this and then bust it like this there you go see and there's your seed and pow and then we're gonna do this Yeah. 
Just like opening up a brain, you know? You know. Okay, so we're going to do some uh, cut or uppery here or butchery. You know, you can't call it really butchery because you're not butchering meat. But uh, All right, so I'm just going to take this uh, shoot here and just we're going to, you know what? Gonna make kind of a bunch of tiny pieces here. Gonna make something like really small here. Not gonna try to waste too much time doing this here on the camera and waste. Ah, damn it. Gonna do some quick shopping here. Alright, you get the gist of it. I'll show you a out of selfie mode picture of this and then we're going to make two more meat uh, pottery. We're going to, let me say that again. We're going to make two more pieces of meat pottery here and we're going to fill this in and some onion, you know, in here. Alright, so I got all this chopped up here and I went and threw it in the bowl and just mixed it up. And I got these over here. And this sausage, it doesn't make too much grease, but if it does, I got a plan. You know, when it's cooked, if worse comes to worse, I'll just get my oven mittens and uh, get that out of the stove and kind of drain it. I have a plan, so uh, this is a stuff like it's originally done on a grill, but I got all this. I'm going to make two more of these and stuff it with this. All right, yins guys. I forgot to record here, but I'll just do a little bit of this for you here, what I was doing. I'm trying to figure out, anyway, reuse that can to mold these last two. And I still got like room over here. Uh, this is going to make some grease, but hopefully it'll cook these peppers. When I'm going to see what the hell I'm going to do with the rest of this now. I could kind of add it to this, I guess. I don't know what the hell else to do, but good thing I didn't make too much. I'm going to go ahead and put these on here. The cheese is going to melt down and it's going to go in there anyway. So we're going to go ahead and do it. Ah, damn. I'll put this shit in here. All right. Got to do something with it. I'll just fix it up with my hands later. We're going to cover this up with foil so it don't splatter all, the, all over the damn place, too. These last little bit. But I think this will sink down when... Uh... Should I throw a little bit of cheese on this? What do you think? Should I throw, some... Should I throw a little bit of cheese here? Like, uh, this has a lot of cheese, but maybe I can add some... Try to get some... But then the cheese will probably get stuck to the foil when I add on here. I should have put it down in there in the first place. But this here is going to keep the cheese from getting stuck to the foil and whatnot. But uh, damn it! Oh, hell, that's good enough. Huh? So if this, if in an event that this, all this sausage makes too much grease, it'll I will just transfer it to another pan, you know, so it ain't too greasy and. We'll deal with it, but uh, for now I'm going to cover it with some foil and I'm going to throw this in the oven here. Check on it in about an hour. All right, yins guys. I got the foil on this, uh, ready to go in the oven. I'd like to do an outdoor barbecue thing sometime, but this place where we live here, we got neighbors in like this little yard that each of them has a car and it goes in the yard. You know, there's no really real... It, Real um, room, it's not really safe to do outdoor grill unless you got with a couple of neighbors and agreed to have a party or something. So, so I'm just using, of course, the stove. That's about it. So we're going to go ahead and throw this in here. And close it up and I'm going to get rid of these dirty dishes. I kind of stuck this dish rack over here because there's no room for it right now. I'm going to clean this shit up, put the dish rack 
back in there, clean this cutting board, clean this shit up, and I'll see you in about an hour. And with all the sausage, we'll see how much grease this makes. Well, when you make a meatloaf, you're gonna get that. So we're gonna see how this shit goes. But we're gonna be. It's gonna start smelling good, and it's gonna be eatable. And I will be eating it. So. I better damn well like it because I'm going to be eating a lot of it. Uh, so I kind of made enough to feed more people here. But uh, all right. See you in an hour. All right, Yins guys, we're going to open up the stove and have a listen. I still got a half an hour more to go. Okay. It smells like everything is cooking like it's supposed to. And, um,. I hear some sizzling sounds. Nothing out of the ordinary, anything you wouldn't expect. It's smelling like it's cooking right. I can actually smell the uh, bell peppers and everything cooking too, especially that. So, when we do uh, take it out and do the unveiling, for good or bad, uh, how this turns out, we're going to be saying, holy shit. If it's good or bad, but I'm gonna be eating it one way or another. It smell it. It smells like it's going to uh, work out. So we'll see. And also, um, holy shit is also what you say when a toilet overflowed in the church too. Uh, so for good or bad, we're gonna be saying holy shit anyway. But I think it's gonna turn out. I mean, if it ain't perfect. It's like I cooked anything else like lasagnas or stuffed peppers or anything. You mess up a little bit and you you can almost predict uh, what you did wrong and what you need to improve if you try it again. So it's not the end of the world. Um, and um, it's going to be good. It is. So we're going to see another half hour and I'll take a peek in there and see if it's time to unveil it. All right, yins guys, I'm going to get the love glove here. I'm going to get this on out of here. And I'll remind you guys, if you didn't see my videos before, what I do here is right when it smells like it's going to be done, maybe. Or if it's like about done when you go in the stove and check it or take a little peek. I turn the stove off and then uh, wait for that residual heat to kind of get less hot and then take it out. I say this because if you guys want to do that, it's a suggestion. Keep you from burning yourself or having any accidents. You won't get third degree burns real bad. I don't want to see anybody accidentally get burned real bad. Not a good thing. So anyway, we're going to pull this off the unveiling here. Get unveil this. All right. Looks pretty good. We made some grease in here, but we can deal with that. Smells pretty good. The cheese melted all in there. Get it on a plate and serve it up. I have me some of this. For these succulent morsels of deliciousness. So I am going to eat myself some of this. Definitely. Uh, let's see what I'm going to get this out of here with. Give me an instrument here. I need a spoon or, or one of these. Should I go? I'm going to go for. Take one of these. Take one of these. Look at that. Just look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me get me. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, am I going to have myself one of these or one of these? Oh, I can't decide because I have one of these and one of these, but if I have one of these, don't. Do the veggie one for now. And uh, that a little bit getting on the plate there to grease up. I can 
always dump that off for the plate and not worry about it. But oh, look at this—the cheese all melted on in there. Yeah. Now cut this in half. So it stood uh, together. You see this here. Mm. All right. Oh man, I'm gonna have one of these. Then this has the beefaroni and the cheese in it. But I gotta pick one or the other right now and eat the other later because I'm gonna be full and ain't gonna eat be able to eat one of these until later. So I'm happy with it. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I could tell by smelling it beforehand that it was going to turn out. There might be something I can do better. I don't know. Um, there might have been a few things I could have done better. If I do this again, it'll look a little better. This didn't make really the shitload of grease I thought it was going to, which I'm glad. Then you get an instrument under here. This come come right up out of here what I ought to damn do got no room for another plate I'm gonna put is on another plate here the only reason being is I want to see compared to this if I get one of these up out of here if it's gonna fall apart with the beefaroni here I gotta know all right ah got it I got it it's just this this plastic instrument is bending under the weight. God damn it. All right, it's not coming apart. All right, yeah, there we go. Look at that. I'll just prepare a plate for tomorrow, that's all. That'd be. This is going to be tomorrow's supper, too. All right, look at that. Yeah, you know what? This is going to be very photogenic because I'm going to put these, uh, send these a couple friends on Facebook, social media, and all that. And then there's these two here, the last of that. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm happy with it. I really am. I'm going to eat myself some of this. And uh, what more can I say? Okay, this concludes the uh, this episode. Ah, I guess I was busy sampling things. I can't talk right. I'm sampling things, but yeah, I'm anxious to get start eating here. But anyway, yeah, this concludes the show. I'm going to render this video and get some eating done here. So, all right, that this ends the show. This concludes the show. This has been the show, the show, the show, the show. The Asshole Cooking Show. This has been the show. Thank you for watching the show. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. This was the show. This was the show. The Asshole Cooking Show. This was the show. This was the show. The Asshole Cooking. The Asshole Cooking Show. Thanks for watching.